All right, caffeinated, ready to go. Today I wanna to talk about the fastest way to get better at DJing. Now, of course, practicing at home or in your studio, wherever you have your, your bedroom, wherever you have your DJ gear set up, super important. But to be honest, that's not the fastest way you're gonna get better. The fastest way that I've gotten better and countless DJs that I know will say the same thing. The fastest way you can get better is by listening to other DJs, especially DJs you look up to or that do similar styles as you. Now, this doesn't mean biting. This means taking inspiration from hearing another DJ. Um, even better if you can go see another DJ that you look up to. It's getting an idea of what their thought process is when they're mixing, right? Um, every DJ is different. We all kind of approach music differently and how we blend songs and why we choose to mix one song to another. And although getting the technical stuff down when you're practicing at home uh, by yourself is really important, once you know the basics of how to cleanly mix songs or DJ however you want to DJ, whether it's blending or dropping on the one, however you do it. The thing that's going to make you stand out and the thing that makes a good DJ great is their creativity and their thought process. Um, I know that I spent the first couple years of my DJ career doing gigs um, kind of just on my own. Um, practicing by myself. I didn't go out that much. I did go out a little bit. Uh, I'd see friends, uh, other DJs that I know, and you know, I'd pick up stuff from them. But in particular, um, DJ E Rock from LA, not the one from the Bay, E Rock without the C in the name uh, from Critical Beatdown. Shout out to Critical Beatdown. Um, he let me open for him uh, at a club in downtown LA. Uh, damn, I don't remember the name, it's been so long. Uh, it had a bank vault in the bottom, did it? No, it was at the bottom of a bank. Um, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, opening for E Rock and being there from the beginning of the night, and him being a super duper seasoned club DJ, knowing how to do the, the thing, the DJing, um, and really not only just doing my set and doing my opening duties, but sitting there and seeing how he DJed and really getting the chance to see him curate the rest of the night uh, until sometimes he would have me close the last hour, half an hour, whatever the case is. Um, I did it once. He said I did a good job and um, he would have me come out and uh, open for him quite, yeah, I'd say quite frequently, but the hours that I spent watching him DJ and watching him really DJ the way that I wanted to DJ um, taught me so much more and made me such a better DJ than the hours and hours and hours of practicing by myself and just kind of thinking of things uh, on my own, practicing at home. And that's because not only was I seeing, you know, the blending and, you know, beat matching and all that's the, the technical stuff, but the creative part of it of he would have setups into other songs and like small like mini combos or like three or four songs that like are were his go-tos and he knew that would work. And although, you know, of course I've heard other DJs do that, but something about seeing it in person and really seeing exactly how he was doing, how he was using Serato, how he was using the, the features in Serato to make it easier for him uh, specifically prepare crate. I never used prepare ever until I saw E Rock DJ. And that really changed the way I DJ forever. And I still use it to this day, not just in Serato, but even on CDJs on uh, USB sticks. I'll use that, um, with their version of the prepare crate, the tag list. And just seeing that and seeing how it could be used changed 
my thought process of how I thought DJing should go. And it made me rethink the way that I DJed and taking that little bit of knowledge home and really thinking about it and thinking how I could use it and make it my own really elevated me as a DJ. And every time that I would see him play and got the chance to open for him, I would see like, listen for different combos of songs like, oh man, I would have never thought of that. And taking that knowledge and then realizing how much I was learning and how much this was making me better changed the way that I would listen to other DJs moving forward. So anytime I would be in a DJ booth, if it was someone that I didn't know, uh, someone I never heard before, I would not only have open ears to, see, to listen to see like, oh, are they mixing clean? But also thinking about the thought process of, oh man, that was cool. Oh, that, you know, those two songs, I, I would have never thought of those going together. Or I would have never thought of mixing it in that way, you know, dropping it in at this point in the song. There's something you can learn from every single DJ that you listen to and that you see. And I truly believe that no amount of practice at home, behind the decks, can replace listening and seeing other DJs play. Now, if you live in, you know, a remote area or a smaller market where you can't go see a bunch of DJs or DJs that do your kind of style, listen to DJ mixes. I mean, there's tons of time where back when I still had a nine to five, I would just go on SoundCloud or MixCloud or MixCrate back in the day, RIP MixCrate. Um, and just go through DJ mixes of, you know, let's start with, oh, I like this DJ, I'll listen to this mix, they'll be related. <clears throat> I'll kind of go through those people's mixes <clears throat> and just go down, you know, trickle down like spider web and go down, fall down the rabbit hole of listening to other DJs mixes and listen to how they put their sets together. And I would either mentally take notes or write things down like, oh, that was cool or at this point or uh, of the mix, I really like this and really put together a list of ideas from those DJs and then go home when I got the chance to practice, see how I could flip it and make it my own. Again, not biting, but taking inspiration from other DJs and figuring out a way to make it, make me better as a DJ. So if you're taking this seriously, or even if you're not taking it seriously, but you just wanna get better, Take some time out from behind the decks practicing and go out and listen and see other DJs play. And I promise you, you won't regret it. And I promise you, it'll make you a better DJ faster.